everyone, so I'm going to be doing a first impressions kind of video today. So I actually already have like um, foundation on and concealer and I put my eyebrows on as well because I don't have any new products to try out for those things and I thought it would speed it up than having to do it on camera. So one of the things I'm going to be using is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. I've been holding on to this since I got it for my birthday and I haven't used it yet. I don't even know how I've managed to do that. Um, but it looks so pretty and I'm going to like... I think I'm going to try out the brush that it comes with as well. So it just looks like this. So it's a dual ended brush and it has like a really um, nice blending brush on that end and this one's more kind of like dense. Um, so I'm actually going to start off with this brush and try it out. So I don't even know what I'm doing, I'm just going with it. Um, this is my first time testing Anastasia um, eyeshadows so I might just... Bring you in a bit. I'm going to start off with the colour Burnt Orange. Ooh, okay, that has a lot of fallout right off the bat. Okay, that is a really pigmented colour, like, it kind of looks a little bit different to in the pan. So that is the, the state of the pan after I did brushing. I think that the more fallout a product has, the more pigmented it is though, so it's not that too bad because actually it's not creating any fallout under my eyes, it's just in the actual pan itself. This brush, I quite like the like actual brush itself, but because it's dual ended, it's quite short, and I prefer holding a longer brush. I'm gonna go in with the color Red Orcher, or I don't know how you say that. Okay, I'm gonna have to shut this out because it's so pigmented. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go back in with the brush that came with it and I'm gonna use the colour Cypress Umber and I'm gonna like put that right in the corner. Okay, and then I'm gonna switch to the other side of the brush and I'm gonna go in with the colour Primavera and it's like, it's a shimmer one so I'm really hoping it's nice and pigmented. Ooh, it picks up a lot on the brush. That is so pretty, oh my god. Whoa, okay, that is beautiful. I'm actually gonna try out the color Vermeer. I think there's only three shimmery colours in the palette, the rest are matte, but both of them, I can say, are super pigmented as you can see, and the colours are gorgeous, but I'm going to take the colour of uh, me and I'm going to highlight my inner corner of my brow bone, and I'm going to go in with something that isn't new, but I'm just going to use this black eyeliner to do my upper waterline. But then I do have a new mascara to try out, so this is the 17 Falsify Eye False Lash Effect Mascara. So I was actually gifted this um, and I was really intrigued by it. More satisfying things. Okay, brush looking alright. It reminds me of a brush from something else. It's definitely there. And it has... Like it's made them blacker and it has given them some volume. It hasn't lengthened that well. Um, and I'm slightly a little bit I'm like a bit disappointed. I thought it would um, work better than that. That is my eyes done. So I'm going to bronze and contour or contour. I don't really do official contouring um, with normal stuff that I'd use. So I'm going to use my Too Faced chocolate bronzer and then I'm going to use some of the Benefit Hula. I have got this collection gorgeous glow like shimmer brick I assume it's like a highlighter okay, it says on the black back it's a blush block beautiful shimmering shades that add highlights and color for a healthy glow so it's like highlighter and blush so I'm kind of just 
I think I'll just use it as highlighter and because I'm not usually a blush wearer and there's not too many like they're all wearable highlighter colours I really hope this is like pigmented okay that's actually really pretty like the colour of it I don't know if you can see it on camera, but in real life it's kind of showing up more and it's a really like pinky kind of gold iridescent colour and it's actually really pretty. It probably is more of a blush shade, um, mix them all together. So I'm just going to try the, um, I think I'm just going to try these two blocks in the middle here. I really like the um this white block here so i'm just gonna go in with some more of that okay that's actually a decent product so i really like the um just the plain white one for highlighter um but as you see on this cheek when i mix all three together it's actually a really nice pretty kind of pink gold iridescent vibe and would be a really nice shimmery blush if you're into that or you could just use it as highlighter, but I don't really like two pinky toned highlighters. And last, lips, I have got this Sleek Matte Me Ultra Smooth Matte Lip Cream. Again, this was gifted to me, um, so I'm excited to try it. And it's in the shade Rouge Red, I think that's what it's called. Um, but so many people say these are really nice, so I'm really hoping it's nice and pigmented and like it goes well. Okay, so that is really, really nice pigmented, and it's such a bright red colour. Yeah, this is a total win for me. This is so, so pretty. I want to get more of these. When I put it on, it felt really nice and smooth. So that is a win. So in this video, most of the things that I used were actually really, really good, so I recommend them. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Is ready to blow me down.